for, for me, I never thought about gravity as doing the work. All right, but technically you could. Technically it does. And so section 14.4, we, we were saying gravity does work and springs do work. Technically they do, but it's a special type of work. It's a conservative work in that it can be, you can get it back. You don't lose it. You can transfer it from potential to kinetic. So because these are conservative forces, instead of thinking about their work, we can think about their potential energy. And this is what I was taught. This is what we did in physics. We saw gravity and spring. We said, well, let me calculate the, the potential energy. All right, let me calculate the potential energy instead of the work done for those. Okay? Just something right there. All right, did everybody get the notes? Go around. So the potential energy due to gravity, y'all knew this MGH. The potential energy. In a spring, one half k x squared. Again, that x, not the length of the spring, but the stretch or compression of the spring. So, if we take, and I like this page, I, I spent some time on that page uh, in your notes. Hope you appreciate it. You can take this equation. This you can organize your problems this way. Some of you equals delta T. And if we expand that, if we write that all out, and then if we put all of the, these initial conditions on the left-hand side, put all those over to the left-hand side, take all these final conditions, take them to the right-hand side, then it becomes conservation of energy. It looks better on the handout that I gave you, right? It becomes conservation of energy. And so this says the Potential energy, initially, gravity and spring, plus the kinetic energy, initially, right? All of this initial energy, plus any work that we add to it, any force that we give to our object, equals all of the final potential and kinetic energy. All right, so this page right here, that equation down there at the bottom, or that equation up here at the top. Those are our energy equations, and we can use either of those methods because it's really the same equation. All right, we can even think of the sum of all the work done by gravity, done by spring, done by a uh, force equals delta T, or we can think of the initial energy plus any non-conserved work like forces equals the final energy.